Welcome back to another edition of Manual Prospector Owls. Today is uh, Saturday, March the 28th of 2015, and uh, springtime. You can see trees flowering even up here in uh, in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Um, we're out today. We've had our monthly meeting for one in five months now, and uh, doing a little mini outing. We got a group of six together today, and uh, we're on joining a nice springtime scenes and uh, unfortunately the weather well it's sunny at least we've had uh, upper 70s for highs and upper 50s to low 60s for lows until till today now we got sunny and uh, we're reading 40 right now and it's it's well into the day it's afternoon we'll put it that way but uh, we're gonna go uh, stomp out some new territory that uh, I've actually tried in the area before. There's one fork of a creek up in here, Natty Creek, uh, up in the headwaters that I've not tried before. So we're gonna sample and uh, do a little proving. I know there's gold up in there, the amount, uh, who knows. Found decent gold over on the on what I call the South Fork, the North Fork, as far as I know. And anybody that I know, none of us have ever been over there, so. Like I say, I know there's gold in the area. Should uh, get some showing there. Well, we'll prove it out one way or another. We're making our way over. You can see uh, trees are starting to show a little green. Some are starting to bloom. And it's springtime. I might hear a few sneezes along the way. So I'll be back when we get over there. We'll introduce, introduce the group. All right, we got the group together. Looks like we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us here. And we're at our, uh, we'll call it base camp here where we're gonna carpool from and I'm not even gonna bother saying who I am because everybody knows but I'm gonna let everybody introduce themselves and we'll start with Mel. Hi I'm Mel. Uh, I'm in from Merrillville Tennessee now and my prospecting has been one year and most of that prospecting is in Little River and I've done enough to keep me very active in this and this club is great to join into and be a part of. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Out. Next one. Uh, my name is Gary Cook. I'm from Cottontown, Tennessee, and uh, this is my second year. I don't get time enough to do much. Next. I'm Judy Pearson from Walling, Tennessee. A beginner, but always looking for adventure. Hugh Pearson, Walling, also a beginner. Well, we always welcome beginners. We're here to help people learn. Frank Scott, Murphy, North Carolina. Chris, Chris from Greenback, looking forward to going on another Big Al's Gold Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the whole lineup. Of course, you got me, uh, Prospector Al, otherwise known by other names as well. But um, so we're going to get up there and get at it and get after it and see what we can find. And again, this is an official outing of the Coker Creek chapter of the GPA. We at our destination, and it's a nice, fresh little creek. Not real big, but uh, definitely big enough to be legal and uh, workable. We're probably starting to break their equipment out. Some are already hard at it. I'm going to do the same thing. See if I can find me a little color, or even better, a lot of color. Not likely, but you never know. I have worked this spot a couple of times, about like two years ago. Nice little creek and a nice day. Haven't heard anybody complain about it being cold, including me. Probably, it really feels like it's probably in the upper 40s. So it may not quite be that. It might be 44, 45 for all I know, but it, it still feels good. The sun's high in the sky and the sky's blue. Yeah, nobody's finding a lot of gold, me included. I've got three flakes and maybe a dozen small specks, but. I don't expect it rich in here. Really wanted to go over and try the other fort, but yeah, we got here kind of late. And some of them I don't think are too anxious to go over the ridge. It isn't very high. And I really think it's just on the other side, but maybe I'll try it another time. Uh, so, we get back to it. Try to find a little more color before we have to bail out here. At least I didn't get skunk and I uh, got some good exercise and fresh air. All kinds of good stuff. So we'll be back in a little bit. That's, hey that's, that's what a, a real gold miner looks like. Yeah. There's gold here. You, you gold know, everywhere. Gold all around. 
Yeah, pe people will swear David Owens is here. <laughs> yeah, there's people everywhere. Just, just, it's hiding right now. <laughs> I was in Montana and uh, working in a little town called Lincoln. And there were pieces of dust. Prospectors. I think I got eight small flakes and three or four pieces of dust, but I found yellow up in the sky, sun shining, blue sky. <clears throat> Packing up and fixing to head up the hillside back to where we parked and we might do a little poking around in there before we leave. Who knows? I know I can't resist myself. I'll have to do some. So, uh, it's a nice day, kind of cool. Not many clouds around. Lots of trees. Springtime. We'll feel like it in a couple of days, but not right now. Anyway, that's a wrap for this location here. Um, nobody struck it rich, so. But there is gold, and we didn't make it over to the other branch. That's for another day, I guess, when I get an earlier start. So note to self, don't attempt excursions like that after the meeting, since we don't get done until 12 or 1 o'clock. So, see you down the road. All right. This this is an example of the human packed mule. This is overpacked to the max. That's it. The bad thing is pack for, it, for five specks of gold. It, it's like uphill coming in and uphill going out. It's truly it uphill both ways. Fortunately, other than this first few steps here, it's not too bad. So. Well, we'll see how Mel does. We'll we'll check his uh, heart rate when we get up to the top. Yeah, you're gonna need to check my heart rate halfway up to the top. <laughs> I might have to take a breather. I hope I don't fall backwards. <laughs> Me too. Uh, hey, you got camping equipment in there. I might have. I don't know what all's in here. We've got the ki kitchen sink, a pair I'm of uh, a, a fighting Boy roosters. Scout leader. Come, come prepared. Be prepared. Yeah, I was in the Boy Scouts too. <laughs> I picked up a lot of bad habits there, but a lot of good ones too. Yeah. I never was into scouts, only as a leader. But uh, I always knew the kids never carried anything with them. We'd go out on the camp out, they didn't have anything. I usually had it all in my backpack. <laughs> no, we, we never went on a, nah, I'm not gonna say it, somebody might watch it. Anyway, I, I take boy scouts out on outings, gold outings and stuff, and I've taken girl scouts and church groups. And you know, back, back in the day, when you're younger and crazier, you do stupid stuff. But I shouldn't mention it because I don't want to encourage it. But. <laughs> you so. carried out a, a church group from down here. Uh, oh, I can't think of the name of the town. Is it Rice? I remember the name of the church. It was uh, East Denali, something like that. I don't remember it, but it was my wife's cousin, and you took them out. And we, it was just odd. We got to talking, and mm -hmm. they, they really appreciated your time and all. Yeah, well, they're welcome to come back anytime. I'll take them again. I think we found a little better gold that time. That was Doc Rogers.